Well, at a time when both social justice and health are at the top of everyone's minds, there's one business in Baltimore that is combining both in a beautifully positive way. That business is Gangster Vegan, and we have the owner with us now, Tania Yarborough. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. So I love the name, Gangster Vegan. Tell us a little bit about the business. <laughs> Thank you so much. So Gangster Vegan is actually a license of a brand um, that opened in 2014 outside of Philadelphia. Um, but the story of how Gangster Vegan got to Maryland is really personal to me and my family. So in 2018, I was diagnosed with stage one cervical cancer. Um, and at the time, I was a 28-year-old young wife and mom. And I knew that in order to continue to live my life as healthy as possible, I had to make some big changes that were bigger than the medical and surgical options my doctor gave me, but also in my everyday health. Um, so for me, that big thing was changing to a plant-based lifestyle and beginning to think about food as an aid to my wellness. Um, my husband jumped on a journey to support me, which brought us to Gangster Vegan because as you know, when you enter a plant-based lifestyle, you're looking for places to eat. You rarely know where to start. Um, so we visited every plant-based vegan um, restaurant and we love Gangster Vegan. And we were just on a mission to bring that home. We knew that it could help so many people who were in a similar situation as our family, um, who wanted to eat well, who wanted to make changes and just didn't know where to start. And we just wanted to be, help people do that. So. That brought us to Baltimore. Yes, and you went plant-based around the same time that I went plant-based. Anyone who's watched this show knows that I am, in part for those very same reasons. I wanted to take in charge or take control and take charge of my own health and wellness. I know that when you're on this journey, it becomes not just a part of yourself, but a part of the community. And with your business, you've really made it your mission Absolutely. to make sure that you are reaching out to the wider community. Why is that so important? So it is so important for so many reasons. I shared a little bit about the health challenges I encountered in 2018. Um, but I also, unfortunately, seven months later, um, was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and I am a BRCA carrier, if you're familiar with that, mm -hmm. uh, which means that I am a genetic carrier for breast cancer. Um, and I knew this since I was 25 and surveillance had been a part of my life. So essentially, because I was aware, um, had the resources to afford medical care, I was able to intervene as soon as a lump was found in my breast. And I'm here today to take care of my family and my community because of that. I also know that like, that is not the story, particularly for women of color, Black women. There's such a stigma around talking about the scary things about our health. And I think it's largely because we are supposed to be strong and resilient. So one thing that is really important to me and that has been a big part of my story is sharing with people very honestly what brought us to vegan food. Right now, it is a little difficult because you're in the middle of a pandemic. So your hours yes. have changed, but at the same time that your hours have changed, you've also expanded. Did I hear that right? Um, so yes, Gangster Vegan is in South Baltimore what was really important for us at Gangster Vegan was to make sure that we are somewhere at a nucleus where numerous different neighborhoods and socioeconomic statuses can get to us. That was extremely important. Um, when we had to close down due to COVID-19, we actually pivoted our business and actually began to offer juice cleanses. So that was something that we were actually waiting to launch in the summertime where juicing is really popular. It's actually the busy season for juice bars. Yeah. Um, but at the time, everyone was home. A lot of people didn't know what to eat for three meals a day on their own at home. And we had to step in to help people. I think we can all use that juice cleanse. Before we wrap up, I do want to get to the social justice component that Vegan has right now. Because, of course, that's what everyone is thinking about. Your business is doing something unique with donations. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so... When we decided to open Gangster Vegan in Maryland, we knew that it had to have a large philanthropy and social justice component. So I come to this work um, out of an eight-year 
career as a educator in Southeast DC. Um, so I've worked with children for a long time and I'm very familiar with the other issues that happen alongside that happen in communities of color, communities um, that are written with poverty. Mm -hmm. So we are donating 10% of everything, every sale we make this week um, to bail funds of anyone that is arrested during any protest in Baltimore. And we are not just committed to doing social justice work this week, um, but this is something that we are committed to do as long as our community needs it in whatever way that needs to look like. Um, so that has meant not only this 10%, but we are also feeding protesters um, free vegan meals, but making sure that people understand that like we are not separating gangster vegan from the black families that we have decided to feed. You do have a deal for Midday Maryland viewers. You are offering $5 off. Yes, absolutely. You can order it online. Pick your pickup day, your pickup time. Yes. Your pickup location. All of that. So all you have to do is mention Midday Maryland. I think I have to get on it. Thank you so much for all that you're doing for the community. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this.